Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the brand new redesign of the Android Auto interface that we have in the car. Back at Google I.O., they showed us a little bit of a sneak peek as the redesign was coming in and they did say it was going to be coming out later this summer. And you know what? They delivered and they delivered big time on this. I'm going to share with you guys obviously the process on A, how to turn it on because it doesn't turn on automatically right now. It's kind of like you have to opt in into it to be able to try it out. And then two, how does it compare to the existing setup in the car? This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we put out new videos like this on the channel. So before we get into the car and I show you guys the new interface, there's a couple things you need to be aware of. A, it's available, it's not available to everybody, but it is rolling out. B, you do need to turn it on and it does not turn on by itself. So if you don't know anything or you didn't hear about it and you're using your normal Google, uh, let's say your Android Auto in the car, for the most part, your interface stays the same and everything is, looks pretty much what, the way you had it for a long time. To be able to experience the new feature, you need to go into Android Auto and this is basically the application that you download on your phone and you go into it and you just go straight into settings. And in the settings, as long as you're running the latest version, which is 4.5.5928 four slash release this should be the latest version you do have all the other options all the other settings that you have in here but the one thing that will turn on for you is this try the new android auto for cars only update now or wait automatic update coming soon which means that if you don't do anything at some point this will come out but if you want to try it out now and you want to see some of the really cool features just check this box if you uncheck this your system will go back to the standard android auto interface if you check it you could be able to go in so that's a really good way to test it out between the old and the new system Let's go ahead and switch over to the car. The way the setup is right now is pretty much all right. We have five buttons. We have the home, well, the home button, the phone calls for dialer, and of course we have maps when you're able to select multiple maps. We have the ability of selecting our music player as well as switching between different music players. So if I click this right now, you'll notice it takes me straight into Google Play Music. There's that little tick option there that gives me access to the additional players that I have installed. Now, all of these are separate applications that I'm able to use with Android Auto. Uh, not all applications are compatible, so make sure that whatever you download, that it does have an Android Auto interface. And of course, we can interface with the map directly. And then jumping into the map, it gives us access to basically just now normal navigation. You can search for a location. You can use the Google Assistant on the top right. You also have access to basically see what kind of connection you're running. You can see I'm running on Wi-Fi, and I'm actually not uh, connected since there is no SIM in that phone. But it also shows you the battery level as well as the time. So all of this information is the standard ecosystem. And then as far as the dialer, for the most part, we have basically the recent contacts as far as the recent calls that you've made. And of course, we have access to call history, contacts, dialer, and missed calls by just clicking the sandwich button on the top left. But not least, if I decided to, let's say, go back to the standard car ecosystem, all I have to do is I click into this button and it takes me back to the return and that takes me back into my normal navigation system that's built into the car. Now, let's go back into the actual Android Auto app on my phone and switch it over to the brand new ecosystem. Once you turn on the new interface, it looks very, very different. Uh, you'll notice on the bottom, we have the home button. We have access to basically a small mini player that's present now in the bar, as opposed to having to be in full screen. We'll have access to a uh, notification panel, which essentially is an aggregation of all your notifications that you normally get on your phone. If you get them in the past, we, know we didn't have a way of interfacing with them. Now, if you do have one, you can either interface with it by playing it, responding to it or even muting it and of course clearing all the notifications by swiping them away. The Google Assistant is no longer present on the top right as we had it before. It's present on the bottom right and it is the same thing. You can basically click it, interface with it or of course just initiate it by calling out the name by saying hey and the assistant's name or of course using the maps here. Uh, now one thing we'll notice here switching is much faster so I'll go ahead and switch over to the Google Play Music application. I'm able to play music through it. I'm able to go in and customize my playlist, my podcast and all of that stuff. And let's say I want to switch over to other applications. You notice when we were in it, let's go ahead and switch over here into the player. We don't have a way of switching to the other app the way we had it before with the other music players. If we go into the home application, we'll see that the music play, YouTube music, iHeartRadio, uh, podcast, podcast, reminders, all of the stuff, VLC, weather, and all of those applications are now present directly into our actual home screen, kind of like an app drawer. Some of them have actually that little icon that we have right here. You'll notice right there next to the calendar application, as well as the news reminders. And those are kind of activities that you can click. An example will say here, Currently in Santa Clarita, it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. Today, it'll be sunny. With and essentially, these are little shortcuts to be able to initiate it, as opposed to having to say, ask it for weather. You can just click that. It'll do the same thing. Reminders, news is pretty much your daily briefing. It'll kick it off right away, as well as calendar events for whatever's coming up. And this is supposed to come basically with additional ones as time goes on. 
Um, we still have access to, again, as I mentioned to you, regular maps, play music, YouTube music, and of course we have the dialer. And the dialer is pretty much simplified. We don't jump into the recent call, we just get into basically a recent application. But what happens? So we have access to our favorites, our call history, our contacts, our dialer, and of course we're able to initiate the recent call by just asking the assistant, of course. Um, all in all, it looks much cleaner, it's much easier. You notice we actually now have a background that's in the back there. Haven't figured out a way of how to change it yet, but we definitely have some options there. The settings button that you see here will take you directly into the settings application on your phone. So it's not going to show up settings here. This will just initiate it on your phone. Very simple, very clean. And again, if you're not happy with it, and let's say you want to stick with the old uh, design for now, just go back into your Android app uh, and then just switch it back by saying, I don't want to be using this new feature. Very simple. And definitely, I like this. I saw this at Google I.O. and I was extremely excited and very happy that we have it on the car now. So the redesign is definitely focusing on bringing some of the elements that we saw on our smartphone over into the interface. Now, we still don't have split screen. We still don't have picture in picture, which I really, really would have loved seeing some of these things in there. But we now have the ability of interfacing with our notifications in a much more organized way. Historically, it's always been where it just pops up and it either goes back. You have to ask the assistant to read up your notifications and sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Now you click the notification tab, you can see it. You can uh, basically either mute the conversation or dismiss it. And that's really nice or even play it back. So it gives you the way of basically bringing some of the Android from your Android smartphone over to your Android Auto. Um, what we have, of course, now is obviously like an app drawer of sorts. We have those actions that I shared with you guys, the ability of launching those, and some of them will even work on your phone. Uh, the settings tab will automatically be on your phone as this is directly linked into the desktop, well, into the phone application on there. So just keep that in mind. You do need to have the Android Auto app on your phone to even turn on this feature. Although I heard at some point that they will be disconnecting it, which means uh, Android Auto, the interface will be basically baked in into Android and just no longer as a separate application. So just keep that in mind. But for now, if you want to try it out, go into your Android Auto app on your phone and turn on that feature once that shows up for you. Uh, if you're running a standard phone, obviously that's the one way of doing it, you just wait for it. If you're running a rooted phone, there are some methods and I'll try to link that for you guys in the description to be able to see turn it on now. Uh, but again, this is rolling up slowly uh, and it should be available on almost any device running. Um, I showed this to you guys on a Kieran, running pro uh, Kieran processor running device, not even on a Snapdragon. So it's not tied to that and it's not tied to carriers. It literally is a region thing. So like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. If you're running Android Auto in the car and enjoy it the way I do, this is definitely a must have and you should turn it on right now. I'll see you guys in the next video.